Mix it with this solution. It will produce this. If you do it, you will see the results. The word of God says so. Praise the Lord. You do it, heaven will back it up. By his stripes we are healed. That scripture was the first scripture I knew for my healing. And my wife can bear me witness she's here. From 1989 till now, I have had no reason to go to the hospital for anything. And yet, I was always a sickler. I didn't say uh, from 1989 till now, I don't fall sick. I said, I don't go to the hospital. Praise the Lord. I call upon him. He answers me. He answers me. He answers me. I quote the word for him. And he answers me. He watches over his word to perform it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen, church. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The gospel, that is, that is where man is getting condemnation. The light has come. But the world chose darkness instead of light. And that's why they are in the, the condition that we are in all over the world. This Jesus we serve, he is real. I think when we started this ministry, our sticker was God is real. In this ministry, our sticker, you will see brother assembly, you will see it boldly. God is real. It's not theory. We are saying it to, to respond to those dead enter message churches that will come to church and speak English from money to services over English, English. And be saying, Brother Abraham said, Brother Abraham said, Brother Abraham said, but they will not tell us what Brother Abraham did. And they will not tell us that Brother Abraham emphasized that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he did it in the ministry of William Abraham, he will do it also in my ministry. Nobody could say, Brother Abraham did this, therefore this. Brother Abraham said, Brother Abraham said, Brother Abraham said, and Brother Abraham said, and a witch is sitting down there comfortably in the church. Nobody can see what is going on. And people get sick there, and nobody can pray for them to be healed. And that's same William Brown said, any church that this gives in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 is not operating. He said he doubts if that is the church of Jesus Christ. Because he said, these signs shall follow them that believe. What sign do you have to show that uh, believers? When my own family, hallelujah, hallelujah, the thought is frustration that is making me to preach the Bible. To be because I lost my job. So I am now a preacher. I'm born again. I'm a Christian because this. I just, when opportunity came one time, and one of my cousins was dying of HIV. Hey, Jerry, you know the person, yes. She was dying of HIV. Die, die. Somebody went and told her in the hospital in Joss. You stay here. God, they use your brother for Lagos. You stay here, they die. They called me from the hospital. I told her. I said, is it not possible for you to come to Lagos? They were in the isolated world. She was gone. It had blown to HIV. What? I don't know what the AIDS. Hey, I don't plug off all. Uh, TB. Oh, she carried one bottle one container to be spitting into. Could not stand for even two minutes. She was gone. They were just waiting for her to die. Well, she came to Lagos. And I just told God, confirm to them that it's not frustration that's making me preach. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. She went back, healed. HIV gone. Completely gone. Now when I reach my hometown I have to dodge because they troop in. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. God is real. She's still alive today. Hallelujah. Fine looking girl. A woman with children. She was gone, gone, gone. I don't know. God will give you opportunity to confirm to your enemies that you are serving the living God. God is real. So when I pray concerning sickness, I am not praying because I have an anointing. No! 
His word says so. That's why I say you are the best person that can deliver yourself. His word says so. When I pray for anybody, I don't feel vibration. If there is a vibration, it's a jara. That means that is how God wants to use. But whichever means, is he said, they shall lay hand upon the sick. The sick shall recover. I will quote it for God. I am a believer. Oh yeah, receive your healing. And it must happen. Oh. Don't go and be, 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 be no, be, cheeky yourself. A child of the most high God. That love you so much. He suffered all the reproach he suffered. Before you call upon him, he will answer. You mean more than you know to God. And people don't know it. Any witch that tried to mess up around me. Hallelujah. That in fact, that a witch tries to attack me. is evidence it's not a proper witch. Witch don't like trouble. Anywhere they see the one way past them. And they come out. No, that's the truth. So if you try to attack me, I will look at you. You know they see where where. But if they see where where, if they bring my name to your altar, <laughs> you will look for the person who will bring that name and want the person. Why now? Why why you go bring this kind of thing come my altar? Because everything around me is backed up by heaven. Because I confess the Lord Jesus Christ here with my mouth and the life that I live, heaven also confesses me anywhere. You have to do that. Not only me, I'm talking of a genuine Christian. But ignorance. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, Jesus Christ, his blood can never be in vain. It can never be in vain. Hallelujah. Verse 11. Verse, is it verse 10 and 11 or 11 and 12 of Revelation chapter 12? Read it again for me. Revelation chapter 12. Read. So nobody is reading for me. Praise God. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Yes. And they overcame him by the blood of the Verse Lamb. what? Read verse 10 and verse 11. Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Uh -huh. Verse 11. And they overcame him. They are overcame the accuser of the brethren uh -huh. by what? by the blood of the lamb by the blood of the lamb who is this lamb? Jesus who is this lamb? say it if you know it Jesus, Jesus is the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world go ahead and what? and by the word of their testimony and by the word of their test these are the two things they overcome the accuser of the brethren. Who is the accuser of the brethren? The accuser of the brethren is the one to remind you of all your sins of the past. And all your present sins. Why is he accusing you? Because he knows the spiritual law. He comes there and accuses you. Before the throne of grace. That you are not entitled to that. Because you have committed this. But every sin we have ever committed until the day we gave our life to Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ has remitted it. Even the sin from the Garden of Eden. The blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross on Calvary has remitted it. He said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They were not saying that when the accuser comes, any sickness comes, this one comes, trouble comes, then you will stand and say, hey, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. That is not the meaning of that verse. They overcame him, the accuser of the brethren, by the blood of the lamb. That means we are partakers of the benefit of Calvary. 
in the Old Testament, Numbers 35 or so, it says, the, when you go to the promised land, you should set aside cities to be known as the cities of refuge. Once you commit any sin, I mean you kill anybody, I explained that sometime last week, once you kill anybody, according to the law of Moses, just raw. Once the, the avenger of blood is pursuing you to kill you also because you have killed his relation, his father, his mother, his child, you are to run and you are able to get into that city of refuge. The avenger cannot get you again. You have run because you are not guilty. It was by mistake that you killed. But you run into the city. No matter how he can stand and look at you. If he touches you, they will kill him. He has to follow the law. And our city of refuge is the blood of Jesus Christ. And that is the secret place of the most high God. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Why does he call it the secret place of the most high? Because it's not everybody that knows about this. It's everybody that knows about it. The mystery of salvation, redemption through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not the whole world that knows. It's a secret that he reveals only to his own. When Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. Hallelujah. By that he has foreclosed any other means of relating to God outside of Jesus Christ. You see? People don't know it. Why? The mystery is in his blood. Once you give your life to Christ, the first thing you should do after you have given your life to Christ is go for water baptism. Water baptism is your own way of saying, I believe. He said, he that believeth, I believe that all that you nailed on the cross on Calvary there was for me. He died my death. By his stripes, took all my sicknesses, all the causes working against me. He nailed it there and brought me under a new covenant with the creator of the heavens and the earth known as the New Testament sealed with the blood of Jesus Christ. He that believeth looking on to Jesus the author and finisher of our faith. He that believeth I believe. That's why you answer the altar call. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. You see? Hallelujah. So if you believe and you don't baptize, you cannot be saved. Saved from what? Saved from the powers of the enemy. I explained this last week Tuesday. For those of you who were here last week Tuesday. I explained it when I answered the question the sister asked from Europe. I said, listen church, there are Christians that are genuine believers, genuine Christians, and yet curses from their father, inherited curses, are still following them. Covenants with deity that their fathers enter, are still following them. The only reason they can follow is because of ignorance. See, no, look, the Bible did not say they will not come. They will surely gather. But they will always fight. They will always throw arrows at us. Why? Because they hate us. The kingdom of darkness hates us. Why? You we are with them. Marching to hell. Where they have been condemned to go. The grace of God lifted you out to light. And redirected your eternal destination. To go to heaven instead of hell. They are jealous of us. That's why they attack Christians. No Christian attacks anybody, but they are always attacking us. Why? 
Where Christians gather, they are angry. Satan is angry. The demons pushing them, they are angry. Why? Because we have received eternal life. And they have received final, total condemnation. Hell fire was created for Satan and his demons. But he says so human beings will follow him. If you escape, he will go after you. Okay, you will go to heaven, but you will suffer here before you go. I'll make sure you don't marry in time. I'll make sure poverty follow your family. I'll make sure sickness kill you. I'll make sure business doesn't work for you. Uh -huh. Every day, church, 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 we go see. And they make assignment on us. But those who are with them, they don't have problem. No prostitute is looking for fruit of the womb. They even block their womb. If by chance they enter, they will burn through them. But you, sincere daughter of God, you go cry, fasting, day and night. Why? He's the one doing it. It's because you have received life. So, but God gave us overcoming power. And that power is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory be to God. The power that they have over you was taken away from them through the cross on Calvary. When that blood was shed, he shouted, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. That is a loaded statement. What he's saying is, the power they have over us is finished. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's finished. Now, he didn't say they will not attack. They will attack. They will attack. But they have no power. We now have overcoming power. Hallelujah. Anytime you shout blood of Jesus Christ. Don't shout blood until you are under the blood. Each time you shout blood of Jesus Christ, Satan will turn and look at you. He knows where we are spiritually. He knows our level spiritually. And anytime you say blood of Jesus Christ, you are challenging heaven. And angels of God come down. And that's why when you say blood of Jesus Christ, what happens? The demon will go away first. Because you don't know which angel will come. Oh yes. But if you are a sinner, he goes, he say, nobody come. Hey. He will come again. Blood of Jesus. He will peep for window. Nobody come. Say, ah. Oh yeah. Blood of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is a spiritual court. There's an adage that says, I see lawyers that say, he that goes, goes to equity, must go with what? Clean hand. Eh? Don't carry anybody to court until you are sure you are not guilty. If not, the case will turn against you. If because now you first run, go police station, go report. Does not mean that the complainant sometimes becomes the accused. Because they will sit down and listen to the case first. And they will discover that eh, now you they beat them. Now you can't cry again. Okay. Praise God. So it is. The power is removed. Now that you know, that's why he said, ye shall know the truth. And that truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. Now that you know that Satan has no power over you, now you can pray and challenge that demon husband and challenge that demon wife and challenge that, what do you call it, witch and wizard and all the occultic powers that manipulate around you. You can now tell them, when you say, I bind you, it will be bound. I cast you out, it will go. Some are stubborn. But as often as you come, so often also I'll be casting you out. Chase them with fire. Anything you say, heaven backs it up. Hallelujah. Now, when you discover that the force is so much, and you are not strong enough because you cannot fast, you cannot pray, it is only at this stage that your fasting can be meaningful. Hallelujah. 
Because when you want to fight a battle, sometimes it's good to give it all seriousness. That is when you can fast. That is when you can pray. You know, you cannot wake up and pray. Particularly those of us in Lagos. Oh, we wake up in the morning 4 a.m. to be able to hit the traffic. We reach house after 11 in the night. No time to study, no time to pray. So we go and hire prayer warriors to pray for us and we pay them money so that he can be praying for you while you are doing your work. A miserable Christian you are. Create time and pray. Oh. That person where they give her money, you know they pray for you. You did there, you see him. Hey, you don't know. Anytime he's broke, he'll tell you, brother. As I pray for you, what can I see? The guy don't broke. <laughs> I need to get like five people to go to the mountain. Do you have up to 20,000? This thing is fast, fast, fast. Now lie in the open. You go give and then go your work. And you're wondering why your condition not change. He's not praying for you. Okay. And they tell you now. He's not praying for you. Find them and pray for yourself. Oh. But why? Prayer becomes sweet when you pray and you see results. Yes, now. Prayer becomes sweet. Hallelujah. If you have a landlord that is that is a witch, and just after one night vigil, you wake up, you see the guy look you like this, say, take time more, take time more, take time more. You go, you know, you go say, ah, Baba waiting, Baba waiting, good money, Baba waiting. You go enter room, Bill, I said that prayer walk. Hey, from now on, every night, prayer. Hey, because you see, say they walk. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have your husband. When do they give you money? Very stingy man. There are some husbands that are very stingy. Make a new face. There are some of you that are very stingy. And then your wife come fast that day. Say, I no chop till this man come back. Come pray. Pray. Say, Lord, as he come. Lord, I'm going to ask him for 100,000. Father, let him not argue it. Father, let him give me till he reach my hand before he go recover. Father, do it. I will praise you. I will praise you. I will buy three bags of cement for bride assembly building offering. Father, do it for me. And then your husband come. He just say, honey, welcome. Honey, I need 100,000 and I badly. And the guy just do like uh, Mumu. Just go say, eh, my man came. I'm, what do you want to do with the money like this? And they just put hand. He give you. True to it, he said, this man, give me 100,000 naira. Hey! Now so I'm going to take money from him, eh? That's all. From day on, you know what to do to get money from the man. <laughs> ah, God will not give you that type of husband in Jesus' name. God will not give you stingy husband. I mean single sister. <laughs> if you're already married, <laughs> you're going to manage the one way you get. But, 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 all of you that are not yet married, you, God will not give you a stingy husband in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is when you can look for a brother that is a prayer warrior to join you in prayer. One, we chase 1,000. Two, we chase how many? Uh -huh. 10,000. Hallelujah. Not because you are more anointed than me. Not because you are a pastor and I'll be an ordinary member. No. There is no ordinary Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost you have is the same Holy Ghost the pastor has. Until you have that knowledge, if inferiority complex will not leave you. Praise the Lord. After all, I taught you on understanding the body of Christ. Get that sermon. Understanding the body of Christ. If you understand that, then you will never feel inferior before anybody. What I am doing here now with the microphone here is I'm exercising a gift. Everyone that is born again, you have a gift. You have a gift. Everyone that you are, I say born again, 
Uh, another message with that one. If I say who is born again, everybody put on. You are not born again until you have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The baptism of the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God coming to dwell in you. Hallelujah. And a gift will flow. That is a manifestation of the Spirit. The Spirit that dwells in you manifests through that gift. And every one of us has a gift. And no man, God made in such a way that no man has all the gifts. And he even does it in a way that the gift that I have does not work for me. A prophet, hardly, hardly you see vision for yourself. Hardly, hardly, hardly. Prophet John, now me, they bring your wife for, for prayer. Uh-huh. But people, they line up the way for you to pray for them. But when they come to your own, you go come my place. Come give me, make a pray for you. Hey, that's how it is. Praise the, you are coming today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It does it like that. Hallelujah. I am a preacher of the word of God. Hallelujah. But I am not a prophet. Do you understand? No matter how I understand Bible from Genesis to Revelation, he did not make me to be a prophet. So I cannot inquire for you. Now, now the word of knowledge is different from the office of a prophet. The, 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 the word of knowledge, you know, you can stand before me and God in his mercy can just reveal something to me concerning you. That is not a, the, 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 a prophet. That's not a prophet. And because some pastors claim they are prophets, because when they stand, then they see small, small, small revelation. They wait me and they see when service they go. Oh. Then, then they go say, I am prophet, doctor, reverend Moses. Then they go and meet them. Meet them say, I, uh, I don't know, my, my picking missed since yesterday. I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah, tell me now where he is. That's when you go no say, you no be prophet. That's the time you go say, okay, go and read some this. And do navigate four days. And do this one, so many, so many days. And then, and then let me know what happened. He's not a prophet. He's not a prophet. If he's a prophet, he will not tell you. He knows the thing when they do, he go enter spirit. And the words, if it's distracted, he will tell you, come back tomorrow so that he go enter spirit. Where, where? Eh? When he entered, when they came to meet Belam, they waited there till the, the morning. He used the night to inquire. Praise the Lord. And that is it. Some have the ability. Immediately you are talking, they can enter. They behave like witches, like Sunday. So, where is Sunday? I said Sunday, see, 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 um, no, 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 I said Sunday, uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. I said, when you find out something for me, they shake hide here. He said, hey, now, I don't see now, I don't tell you now. <laughs> Amen. Uh-huh. Sunday, no day. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And every prophet knows how he enters the spirit. And, and above all, praise the Lord, don't go and meet a prophet to inquire for you when he's hungry. <laughs> eh? Praise the Lord. Uh, after all, I'm not a prophet now, so not be me I talk to. Eh? But I'm telling you now, look at where where. Because when you remember, say, you know what, Picking school fees. You have job phone and that, that, that way they do cancel and say they don't have your picking from house. Come school. That is the reason why the Bible says when you come before a prophet, he said, Don't come empty handed. I'm telling you that is the truth. I'm telling you, there is a gift you give like this. Chai! The guy will enter spirit. Look, you people were here that day. We raised money for John to repair his car. You saw the way all of them fly. Fly where where? Eh? Any day I promise Amarachi recharge card, she go shake head where where? She go enter where where? Eh, you understand? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, 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 God did it in a way that I go to a prophet does not mean he's higher than me. There is something that prophet too needs that I have. Eh? There is something that prophet also needs that I have. And he doesn't have. Praise the Lord. For instance, our prophets, now only one of them get the healing gift. So all of them, when they seek, now me they come meet. Yes. So sometime before I pray for them, I'll say, uh-huh. 
That matter where I tell you for that one. How, how far? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I just pray that somebody can understand what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I pray that you understand what I'm talking about. So that you will never feel inferior before anybody. And once you have done that water baptism, you bring yourself under the blood of Jesus Christ. You stand justified before God because all your sins are remitted. Hallelujah. No more power of the enemy can work against you. You can go to that shrine and destroy it. You can go anywhere and destroy it. You can pray and that demon will stop coming. Any action of faith you take, heaven will back it up. Hallelujah. Heaven will back it up. That is a secret that people don't know. But Satan knows it more than even some general overseers. And so people don't attach importance to water baptism. And you are shouting for people to receive deliverance. They sit, they fall down. They stand up again. Everybody will fall down, break chair. They stand up again. And you don't know that you have only told those demons to wait for them outside or wait for them for their house. Because they think to disconnect them, you have not applied it. And they know that law more than anybody else. And that's why miserable people jump from place to place to place looking for deliverance and sometimes fall into wrong hands. Praise God. Listen, there is correct water baptism and there is wrong water baptism. See, anybody here, you are listening to me. You have given your life to Christ. You are in any church. You have spent up to six months. In fact, up to one month in that church and you have not yet been baptized, you are joking with your eternal destination. I'm telling you. I repeat, if you are a member of any church and you have been going to that church up to one month and you have not yet been baptized, I say it again, you are joking with your eternal destination. And let me tell you again, in that church, where they don't know the importance of water baptism, they know nothing about salvation. And when the blind lead the blind, what will happen? You fall into a ditch. And that ditch is a hellfire ditch. Stop playing religion. I love this man. I love this man. You love who? You love him more than you, you love your soul. Praise the Lord. See what they don't like, Pastor Moses. Because I'm saying this now, one pastor will go hear me now, he go vex. Why are you the vex? Why will somebody come and give his life to Christ and you will not position that person for the blood of Jesus Christ to wash away? Oh! They say, confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. That's all. So, they have confessed now. They believe now, thou shalt be saved. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. Say it. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. See, you are born again. You see, you are born again. How can you be born again like that? Open mouth. I believe. Who not believe? Even demons believe. Say it. Say with your mouth. Say after me. Then you are saying after your pastor. Do you believe? Yes, you are born again. But see, you are born again. Oh, just look for any living church and I tell you, you are born again. When Jesus comes, you are going home. And you think he has preached to you. He has done nothing. Praise the Lord. The same Bible says, he that believes and he is baptized shall be saved. Jesus Christ himself in Matthew and John chapter 3, verse 5. Except ye be born of water and, and of the spirit. He didn't say except you confess with your mouth. 
You are born again by a process. There's a process for the new birth. That process is not a confession by mouth. It's more than that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Salvation is a marriage process. Spiritual marriage process. I'm married to Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. How did you marry Jesus? How did you marry Jesus, sister? Love not no marry. You marry. Are you married? Yes. Are you married? Married to Jesus. You're yes, married to I'm Jesus. Married. Are you married? You have a husband. Are you married? Yes, sir. Is your husband in the church today? No, he's not in Nigeria. So you can. It's not in Nigeria. Yes. Sir. So you can talk freely. Stand up. <laughs> Praise God. Eh? How long have you been married? I got married January, January this year. January this year? Yes, sir. You courted for some time with your husband? There was courtship? Sir? Was there courtship? Courtship. Courtship with your husband before the marriage? <laughs> eh? No. Oh, okay. He's abroad. You are here. Yes, no, you are not a good example for me for now. Sit down first. Who again don't marry here? Oh. Okay, who married for here? Nobody married here. Oh, may God. Nah, uh, eh? Basi, Basi, marry. You marry. How long have you been married? Stand up. Seven years now. So you're married to what's her name? Routines. I call eh? her sweet. You call her sweet? <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Igbo? He's calling his wife sweetie. That's very good. That's very good. She must be a very sweet woman. It's not every man that can call the wife sweetie. Because some of them beat her past bitter cola. The wife stand like this. Look at you. You go no. Okay. Now, how long did you cut your wife before you married her? How long? Actually, I saw her first when she How was... long? Just how long? Okay. Between the time you met her and the time you married. It was up to six years. Wedding day. Praise God. I courted my own wife five years. What happened? I know these days women are more anxious to marry than our own time. Instead, the woman will say, which day now? Which day now? Which day now? But our own time, when we meet together, they say, no, till I finish school. So, okay, I'll go wait. No, till I finish my school. So, I'll go wait. We'll go wait. No matter how long I must marry you, I'll go wait. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not the one that says, if I wait now, another guy, if he take over from him, oh. Therefore, eh, we can marry now anytime. Well, at this school, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. After all, there are married people for school. Mok we marry. Mok we marry you. Oh. Another boy, they look at me. Oh. Mok we marry you. Oh. So, <laughs> now, but where I am going is this. And I will close in 10 minutes. If 10 minutes pass, I not finish this exhortation. Somebody collect the microphone from me. Now, listen. You met your wife because some people need to understand salvation. Those of you who are new in this ministry. You met your wife. And you proposed to her you will marry her. She answered you yes. Correct? Yes. She agreed to marry you. Yes. The day she agreed to marry you. That day did she become your wife? No. Amen. You give your life to Christ. You want to give your life to Christ? Come. Then you come. You agree? Yes. You give your life to Christ? Yes. That day. Did you become a Christian that day? No. Is somebody understanding me now? Eh? He has proposed to you and you have agreed. That's why you came for altar call. And a blind minister is saying, say after me. Did you say it? Now you are born again. 
Your wife is say, I agree. That day, did she become your wife? No, not at all. That day, you are not born again. Anything. Praise the Lord. Now, but after she agreed, then you started the process of the wedding, the marriage. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Sure. And it ended that day that you were pronounced husband and wife and that woman dropped her maiden name, the name of her father, and takes upon her the name of her husband. From that day, she becomes Mrs. Bassi. Yes. Hallelujah. But when she agreed to marry you, I agreed to marry. I agreed to marry. Praise the Lord. You believe unto salvation. Confession is made unto salvation. She agreed unto marrying you. Then she positioned herself for the marriage. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How is the marriage? You come, takes you to the water, and you baptize in the name of your Savior. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Confess it. Yes. According to Matthew 28, verse 19, enter the water. And you come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And once you do that, the man pronounces husband and wife, they exchange ring. That ring is a token. Hallelujah. Of the decision you have made, of the covenant you have entered, of the vow you have taken, to remain true to one another until death do you part. And why the wedding ring? So that anybody that sees that woman, sees that ring, knows that that woman belongs to a man. And they keep away. Praise the Lord. And that is a type of the Holy Ghost. After that water, he will give you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. From that day, Satan comes near you, he knows, I am married to Jesus. Satan leaves me and Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, you are married to Jesus. Why are you still here? My husband is coming to carry me away to everlasting. When is he coming? He's coming soon. He's coming soon. With joy, we welcome his return. It may be more, it may be night or noon. We know it's coming, coming soon. In this the closing days of time, what joy, what joy, what joy that, that glorious hope I found that soon. Oh, wondrous to supply. He shall reign. He shall reign. He shall be the Lord of Lord. He's coming soon. He's coming. He's coming soon. Oh, we oh, we shall. We welcome His return. It may be more. It may be more. He's coming soon. That is the process of salvation. How can you have this wedding ring? Every woman that has this wedding ring knows there is a man behind her. You touch me, my husband will show you pepper. Especially when he knows what he went through to get me. Hallelujah. He fights battle for his children. That's the truth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why it's important. He said, with all thy getting, get knowledge. This knowledge positions you 
and no demon can scare you. But I say it also for the benefit of those who just come for the first time. There is a wrong baptism and there is right baptism. Infant baptism is wrong. Satan knows it. It does not wash away your sin. It has no bearing with the cross. You have to understand the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. You have to understand before you will know the process of salvation. Get this message I preach. The cross, the symbol of our faith. The second part of it is the pillar of fire, the symbol of our faith. Get this message. If you don't understand what that cross signifies, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that message, I try to let you know that you hang a golden cross as a sign that you are a Christian. I say, no, you miss it. Hallelujah. Because the cross of Jesus Christ was a very rough tree. It symbolized. You have to let it symbolize the meaning of that cross. The cross of Jesus Christ was not some piece of furniture. It was not beautiful. It was a rugged cross. So I cherish that old rugged trophy is the last I lay down. I will plead. I will plead to the old rugged cross. Exchange it. I exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, rocket the cross. Hallelujah. You die. When you die, what, baptism, water baptism is dying, that is repentance. Be buried with Christ and resurrected with Him. You identify with it. You die by repentance. The water covers you. You are buried. And then you come out for resurrection. The hope of resurrection. He gives it to you. Praise the Lord. Therefore, where do you fit in sprinkling of water? Where do you fit in infant baptism? He has not repented. So anyone you did wrongly, the water is ready. As soon as we close, we shall be by the water side to baptize you. Hallelujah. That is where your deliverance begins from. This knowledge. And if you have not repented and you enter the water, it is wrong baptism. Wrong baptism. If you have not repented, you do follow, follow. Everybody, they go water baptism. Eh? So if I go water baptism, this problem will go say, eh, ah, ah, yeah, we turn and they go now. Where could they go? Where could they go? Uh, it's wrong baptism. If you go like that, you are only going to swim. There's no bearing with the cross. And don't joke with anything that has to do with the cross. Because it was nothing sweet that he went through. It, everything that was bitterly done, painfully done, he was not laughing at the cross. Anybody that answers an altar call laughing, you are not coming to the cross of Jesus. Yes, godly sorrow that worketh repentance. That's the way Apostle Paul put it. Yes, the only reason you are coming to the cross, hallelujah, there's only one reason, is that you realize that somebody took over your position. Ha! The first day I caught that revelation, that was the day I gave my life to Christ. For two weeks, every day, I was crying with tears. From that day, I knelt down there to see the love. The love that God displayed for me when I saw the rough life I lived before. If I had died in that estate, where I would have been? But God's mercy waited and gave me opportunity. Ha! Ha! The God should love a sinner such as I should yet to turn my sorrow into joy. Please. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 
to bring me now. How wonderful is love like this? Such love, such, such love, such love, such wondrous love, such wondrous love, such love, such love, such wondrous love, such wondrous love, such love that God should love. I sing such as I do. How wonderful is love! Like this. Hallelujah. I say for two weeks, anytime I remember the love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, just, I was not crying for anything, but how God just made me to escape hell. If I had died a sinner, imagine where sinners are now. With this knowledge of salvation. Imagine what we are unbelievers are now. Torment. But God put me away from there. You see why some of us we don't serve God for what we will get from him. No, you can't have this type of revelation and serve God for what you get from him. Oh, I'm serving him for what he has done for me. I love him. I love because he first loved me and purchased my salvation of I was bad, terribly bad. And Satan will want to ask me, remind me of my past. That I still have something. One cause must follow me. One covenant must follow me. I hear the Savior say the strength, the strength in the despair. Child of weakness, child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me, find in me. Hallelujah, Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin I've left. Sin I've left. A crimson stain. He washes. Jesus has no. They ask. Me, why I'm singing, so I just tell them why. Because, because my sins, my sins are gone. When I see the scoffers, and when, when I see the scoffers, who ask me, who ask me where they are, I say, my sins, my sins are gone. Where, Where are, are they? they? They are all under the, the blood. On the cross of Calvary. I'm far removed as darkness is from God. In the sea of God's forgetfulness. That's good enough for me. Praise God. Let me hear the sisters. Concerning your sins. Where are they? They are on Let nobody accuse you anymore. Let me hear the brothers. Oh, we are on the They are Say, brother. Thank 
Thank you. Hallelujah. They are underneath the blood of Jesus. Through water baptism, we sent our sins under the blood of Jesus. And they remain there. The accuser of the brethren can never see my sin anymore. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The accuser of the brethren has no more power. That's why he leads blind pastors to teach water baptism the way they teach. Praise the Lord. Some of them have received my teachings on water baptism. But the problem is, why are they not making correction? If anybody takes you inside the water and baptizes you and says, according to Matthew 28 verse 19, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and put inside water and bring you out. He has not baptized you according to Matthew 28 verse 19, brother, sister. Correct water baptism is to baptize in the name of the Father. What is the name of the Father? Look for the name of the Father and baptize. Not to go and say, Bible says baptize in the name of the Father. Therefore, I baptize you in the name of the Father. What is the name? And of the Son. Look for the name of the Son and baptize in the name of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Look for the name of the Holy Ghost and baptize in the name of the Holy Ghost. The commandment is to baptize in the name. Somebody shout name. name. Father is not a name. Son is not a name. Holy Ghost is not a name. There is nowhere in the Bible where you see Father, Son, Holy Ghost baptism. <sighs> this is for our new people. Anybody watching us for the first time? The name of the Father, according to the Bible, is Jesus. The Father gave the Son his name. The name of the Son is the name of the Father, Jesus. And the Holy Ghost is coming in the name of the Son. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Shout that name, let me hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Assemblies of God, your baptism is wrong. Hey, some people go vexed now. First square, your baptism is wrong. Catholic, you started that error. Anglican, you follow where you broke out from. You are wrong. Choosing, you are wrong. Winners, you are wrong. Redeem, you are wrong. Who again? Methodist, Presbyterian, you are all wrong. Anybody that takes anybody inside water, instead of calling the name of the Father, you call the title of the Father, you are wrong. Correct water baptism is to bring somebody under the water and baptize him into the water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have baptized that person in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. But pastor, are you saying that all these big, big, mighty men of God are wrong? Yes, if they are contrary to the Bible. How come you, Pastor Moses, where you be ordinary pastor, you don't be reverend, you don't be doctor, you don't get branch anywhere, you don't get anything. How come you know all this? God's attributes were manifested to his bride in this last day. We have got the revelation by the last prophet's message. Yes, we know. And we know who we are and what we are raised up for. Praise the Lord. Oh, for the original. Hallelujah. The original seed. The original seed. The original word. The original word. What I believe is what I believe. The Son of Man. The Son of Man. The Son of Zeal. Zeal will be on the original. Oh, the original sea. We are the world made flesh today. 
this is what the scripture says. The names are seen. And the names are seen with him. Redeem and perfect without sin. Yes, we are. Yes, we are anointed. And inspired by our God. Oh, who's the original? Oh, the original. The original sea, the original world, the original world is what I believe. Is what I believe. We sing the Son of Man, the Son of Man, the seven seals will be unveiled. The original, yes, sir. Our eyes. Our eyes of understanding He has opened up my eyes As victory is ours We are chained down in the past oh, yes, through, jubilee. through jubilee As I and have responded And we have responded To our God, to our God. Oh, oh, original Oh, the original, original. The original sea, the original world, the original war, original Christianity. I believe the Son of Man, the Son of Man, is the seventh seal, still will be born. The original, the original sea, the original sea. We are called unto adoption, authority, authority. Slip and step away, we can join us. The saints will wait and for join translation. us for translation in this hour. Gentlemen, hey. soon be Glory, over. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, God. to our God. Oh, was original. Life. Was original. Life. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the original. Life. The original sea, the original word, the original world. The, world. the son of man, the son of man, the seven the seven seas, the, the original. Let me have the sisters, only the sisters. Hallelujah. Let me hear the brothers. The brothers. The original Everybody, everybody. Hallelujah, original, original Christianity. The original one is what I believe. Is what I believe. The Son of Man, the Son, the seven seals will be unveiled. The original, the original seal. Hallelujah! That song is our anthem in this ministry. That song tells you who we are. We have caught the revelation by the last prophet's message. And that prophet, the ministry of William Marion Brown, bringing us back to the original word that has been perverted by the denominationalism. That's why here you don't see woman pastor. Hallelujah. That's why here there is no reverend, reverend doctor here, here. That's why here there is no Jew. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why here me and my wife we don't own this church. Hallelujah. It's true. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
And that's why here we believe in a five-fold ministry. Five-fold ministry. It's not only pastor. There are prophets. There are evangelists. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all these fake inter-message pastors. And all the rest that can hear me. You must allow others to function. That's why we allow the manifestation of the gifts here. Hallelujah. We believe in the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We believe in the liberty of the Spirit. And that's why here we don't have a Bible school. And we don't believe that you have to go to Bible school to be a minister. I did not go to Bible school. I did not go to the school of theology. But I am in the school of the Holy Ghost. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why when you come here, English is not our problem. When we preach here, we give you a message. If you like listening to our English, God is not an Englishman. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, for your information, all these people want to sing only Igbo song for this church. God is not an Igbo man. Hallelujah. They baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, the original. We are built upon the foundation of the apostle. This is the foundation. No other foundation can anyone lay. And in this foundation, Apostle Paul said, if any man preach any gospel, contrary to what they have preached, let that man be a cause. Hallelujah. Therefore, we preach only that that does not contradict the Bible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We believe in the ancient landmarks. Go and get that message. The ancient landmarks. Praise the Lord. We know who we are because we know the divine timetable. Go and get that message called the divine timetable. Hallelujah. So that you also understand the meaning of that picture. Can you show us that picture with the pillar of fire? That pillar of fire. Hallelujah. That pillar of fire that you see on the head of William Marion Abraham. It is a symbol of our faith. Pillar of fire, not cloud. Pillar of fire. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Pillar of fire. That fire you see there. I told you anytime, all believers of this place, if you see us hanging that picture, it is not the picture of that man we are hanging. It is that. Why are you come out now? Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, see him, see him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't see him. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Uh, you don't know, see him. It is that picture. You see um, that arrow is pointing. It is that light. And this age. God allowed us. Using science. To catch the picture of the supernatural. That same angelic presence of God. That followed them in the wilderness. In Exodus chapter 13. Hallelujah. When he moved, they move. When he stopped, they stop. In the journey in the wilderness. That same light that came on the day of Pentecost. And broke itself into tongues. And came upon every one of the 120 that we are in the upper room. The same light that met Apostle Paul. On the way to Damascus. And struck him. That same light came in this dark world of Christianity. And came to show us the light. To tell the whole world this is where the light is. As John the Baptist was give, came, uh, given a message that for all my first coming, so are you given the message shall for, for, for all my second coming. And tell us this is the light and brought us back to Bible Christianity. That is who we are. He sounded the trump of Jubilee. Jubilee to come out of bondage. Bring us out into the freedom of worship. That is the product of this ministry. And as many of you that God has destined to be part 
of the rapture in this age, you must catch, be part of this message. You must be part of this ministry. Because that ministry is in the Bible. It is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16. It is in Revelation chapter 10 verse 7. It is in, Ma in Revelation chapter uh, uh, Malachi chapter 4 verses 5 and 6. That ministry is in the Bible. Hallelujah. But don't say it. Don't believe us because we say it. Confirm. Ask God to also reveal it to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are back part of the restoration ministry. God is restoring his church back preparatory to hope going. There is a land beyond the river that we call the sweet forever. And we only reach that river by faith degree. One by one we gain the portals they are to rain without immortals. When the ring, the golden bells for you and me. Oh, don't you hear the bells no ringing? Don't you hear the angels singing? He's a glory. It's a glory, hallelujah, jubilee. In a fire of sweet forever, in a fire of sweet forever, just beyond the shining river. When the ring, when the ring, the gold is best for you and me. Hallelujah. I don't know how many people will respond like we responded. Just give your life to Christ. And stop all this denominational mentality. And face the reality of Christianity. The time for religion is close. Come on board. Come and join the revival of the bride. Come, not because you need deliverance. Remember, the first deliverance the deliverance of your soul. Get your soul anchored in him first. That's what we do here. Anytime. Go get our messages. What we are known here is not prophecy. It's not healing. It's not deliverance. What we are known here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we are known in this place. The Bible says, we are the carcass. Is. They are the eagles. When we got that. Hallelujah. In this age, Jesus has a table spread. We are the saints of God. By this chosen people, commander. Oh, man, I supply, and supply every need. Oh, yes. I'm the sweet to stop with Jesus every time. Hallelujah. Oh, commander, the master of You may be the Jesus table. You may be the Jesus table all the time. He will feed the multitude. He will feed the multitude. And turn water to wine. Turn the water. To the hungry call it now The hungry call it now Oh Commander Oh Commander Oh Commander The master for a commander You may feast at Jesus' table You may feast at Jesus' table all the time He will feed the multitude He will feed the multitude Let the world of the world Oh, One more time. Oh, commander. Oh, the master calling, commander. You must be the Jesus. Can we, Can we stand up? Can we stand up? Can we stand up? He will feed the multitude. Can we stand up? 
It's a water to wine And the water to To the hungry collector Leave me below In this possible world How can we stand up? And the air comfort can afford Striving along Striving along To face temptations To face temptations Where would I go? Where would I go? But to the Lord Oh, where could I go? my soul Oh, when I'm needing no friend Needing to wrap me in the air Where could I go? Oh, God, to the Lord Neighbors are I love them, everyone I love them, everyone we get along. Sweet alcohol. But when my soul, my, when my soul need mana, is mana from above, where do that go? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Where could I go? So that it friends I love so that comfort I get comfort I get from God so what yet when I face yet when I face chilling and so that chilling and so that where could I go but to that oh where could I go To help me in the air. Where could I go? One more time. Oh, where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. That's why we are here. Seeking a refuge for your soul. We will not go to Babalao. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, we will not take questions today. We we'll come back Friday night vigil. Every Friday night we have our vigil here. We we'll have some time to ask your question. God bless you. Be seated one moment. Immediately we close this session. We just go straight.